Tonight's match and pups at the pitch is presented by Social Pet Hotel and Daycare, the official pet partner of the Charlotte Independents. Welcome one and all. The addition of Juan Carlos Obergon Jr. up the top adds a different dynamic to this Jacks team. Still recovering from that, still feeling some pain. So Gunther Rankenberg, they're very comfortable with stepping in. They'll be in their lunar kits. I already mentioned the 10 year anniversary kits with the nice sash for the Independents. Our head official for today is Edson Carvajal. And we are underway here at American Legion Memorial Stadium. They haven't been able to get into a rhythm, but obviously it's not something that's in their hands and everyone's dealt different challenges throughout the season. And they're hoping that with the schedule sort of normaling up here, they'll be able to get into a routine. Now it's a busy week coming up for both these clubs. As Zikowski pushes forward, takes a shot and it skips into the arms of Austin Pack. What do they love to have him back for another year in Charlotte? They conceded some half chances in the process. He said the good thing about that game is that they thought they fought through, got it done. And he feels his guys learned from that matchup. Here's an opportunity going forward. Punched out of the air by Gunther Rankenberg. The shot from Juan Carlos Obergon Jr. A bicycle kick was ventured. Zakowski with a step. Ben Zakowski. That one, the deflection and a point to the spot. It's a handball and a penalty for Greenville. So let's see who prevails. Lyon McKinnon. It's saved by Pack. Not the best taken penalty. Incoming for the Triumph, but a sigh of relief for these home fans. Roberts, one of those big center backs that Rick Wright alluded to, and he's been incredibly active early on in this game. Scarlett, gonna chase this one down. He's in the right channel. Castro's in the box for him. Plays up to Zakowski. Zakowski with a touch. Ben Zakowski! Austin Pack read it, and he closed off the angle. Rocketing effort into the arms of Gunther Rankenberg. So an attempt at goal was made. Keys the game highlighted. Being able to control the ball in the center of the pitch is going to be pretty crucial for Charlotte. So far, it's been a toilsome effort. And a touch like that's not going to do them any good. Can't watch the match. Turn on Sirius XM FC 157, North America's only 24-7 source for engaging soccer talk, including USL All Access Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. The Independents pushing forward. Alvarez shoots. And it's into the arms of Gunther Rankenberg. You can hear live matches from the USL, MLS, Premier League, and more. All on Sirius XM FC 157 and the new Sirius XM app. Zakowski. Still fighting for it. Castro now. The ball bobbles out of his possession. Anderson with his foot on the ball. Greenville will rotate left. how things have played out here in this half. Smith floats this one inside for Zakowski! Swatted away by Pack. We'll provide the service from the left flag. Kinnon's ball comes in, headed down. It's McKinnon again. Another ball inside. Glances, Smith. Tried to play that on goal and he was successful, but it's into the arms of Austin Pack. And that is how the first half of action will conclude. The Greenville Triumph and the Charlotte Independent scoreless after 45 plus from Greenville. It's just an hour and a half drive and Rick Wright deciding to prioritize sleeping in one's own bed the night before a game. Now Charlotte on the prowl. And Jai. Obergon plays it back to Johnson. Now service comes floating in for Obergon! And the independent score! 
Beautiful service, wonderful finish. One nil Charlotte. How about that lobbing ball to Juan Carlos Obregon Jr. Joel Johnson places it perfectly and Obregon having to recover after injuring his arm last time out. Jamie Smith shoots and that's straight into the middle to Austin Pack once again. And just to clarify, Omar Sis getting hurt in the last League One game against Spokane. Not in the Open Cup fixture. Definitely a quirky start to the season for Charlotte. But there are some teams that have played even less matches, like Union Omaha just played their second game in league play earlier today. The Chattanooga Red Wolves still awaiting their second game. Evan Lee, his touch gets away from him there. Sticking to it, though, he's able to keep it in bounds with Scarlett. Scarlett showing some nifty footwork. And now Greenville on the prowl once again. Anderson provides service, and Castro looping over the crossbar. And he boots this up the pitch, and it's over. They weathered the early storm and then delivered a knockout punch. The Independence 